way. Good morning, YouTube world. Anthony here, and I'm not in my normal picture taking place because I am 998 miles from home. Kind of did uh, a little bit of a whim thing here. And as you can see behind me, I have a road trip ahead. Uh, that's right, I flew all the way out here by myself last minute on a Sunday, and I have to drive this absolutely stunning 1991 Cadillac Brome de Elegance, 998 miles home. Um, which normally I wouldn't be concerned about. I guess the biggest thing I'm concerned about is this. Those beautiful Royal Steel tires. This is a 20,000 mile car. Um, I had bought it and normally I would ship something like this. The guy that I bought the car from told me it was his parents' car and the address that he gave me wasn't his parents' house where I was going to have the car picked up. And I'm like, Ugh, something just seems a little weird. You know, I, I had a gut instinct that, like, there's something that wasn't on the up and up. And I, I don't know. I still don't think it was his parents' car. I think it was maybe someone he knew. Or maybe he bought it from someone and it's just flipping it. Um, but I didn't feel comfortable sending this guy all the money that I paid for this car in Chicago with an open title that was already signed by his parents. Now, this was his parents' beloved Cadillac. They're both still alive. And I was gonna meet him. The address that he gave me where the car was stored was like a psychic palm reading shop in Chicago. I'm like, yeah. Red flags pew, 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 shot up everywhere. And the wind was blowing and the flags were just flapping in the breeze. So I said, yeah, you know what? I can fly out there. I got to be back for Monday to bring my daughter to school. I'm going to catch a flight Sunday morning. Fly out there, hand him the money, take the car, take the title. I would have loved to have left the car somewhere around here. I know I probably have tons of people that know me or follow me in the Chicago area that would say, hey, Anthony, park it in my driveway, ship it from my house, you know, someone I could trust. Um, I just, timing... And I said, you know what? I can make the drive back. So here I am. I just got off the plane. Uh, I took an Uber Black down to this guy's place. He met me there. There was the car. And it's re it's I'm ready to go. This is an extremely, extremely, extremely nice example. 1991 Brome D'Elegance. Uh, in absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal condition. Let me zoom out here. Stunning original filler panels. I mean, look at the gloss on these. Oh, you can see me. There's me. I'm there. Original. Phenomenal, phenomenal cut. Like, look at this thing. Cadillac mud flaps. And like I said, the only thing I'm really concerned about is these Uniroyal Royal Seal tires that do have some dry rot. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try to find a place maybe to put tires on, but it's Sunday. Where am I gonna find a place from between here and Massachusetts to put tires, white wall tires on a car like this? Probably not gonna happen, but let me just give you a little walk around. We'll show you how nice this car is. Look at the stitching on the top. Oh my God, this car is gorgeous. The coloring and the emblems. Got some dust on it from the car cover, but phenomenal, phenomenal original paint. Untouched example. And you know it's a meme pepe car when it's got the bug deflect and look how nice and clear it is. <laughs> Funny story that he told me, and this is this is why I, I first I believed him. He says, Oh yeah, my dad brought it to a uh, car wash once and it scratched up the bug deflector. So the people at the car wash. <laughs> felt bad and they bought him a brand new one and there it is in the box so it comes with a brand new deflector shield I don't know if I'm gonna leave that on I think it's cool obviously period correct but I think it kind of takes away from the front of the car I don't know let me know what you think down in the comments it's like it's like a old lady visor 
like that would like an old lady would have wear at like a poker table or like a uh, not a poker table a slot machine but so that's my dilemma i got 998 miles to go on 30 year old royal seal tires they're not horrible but it doesn't matter i know they're unsafe here i am i preach about tires all the time normally if i was going to do something like this i'd ship tires here ahead of time but like i made these plans friday um so i just didn't have time and i couldn't come out yesterday had some customers coming to pick up a car but take a look at the inside of this thing how clean this car is I mean, just absolutely, it's kind of greasy, like everything's greasy from, he had it detailed. Look how greasy the dash is, but that'll all clean off the carpet. I mean, just phenomenal. Obviously they had carpet over carpet. Beautiful velour, de-elegance interior. Tons of stuff with this car too. Got two sets of keys. I mean, these are the GM keys. Look at how nice these keys are. Lambert Jones Olds Cadillac, LaSalle, Illinois. Let's start it up. One thing I noticed too, it sounds like it's got a little bit, probably the muffler blowing apart or something. 20,695 miles. Um, I don't like this. The original radio is in the trunk. He said his mom had an expansive CD collection, and that's why they put the CD player in there. I'm gonna say it's probably because the amp's bad, and that was not the true scenario. Have the original owner's manual, Elizabeth Winmar. That's the other thing, like the, his last name didn't match his parents' quote unquote last name. Got the hubcap key, brown, or is that black? which is ironic in my bag i brought hubcap keys because i didn't know if he had one and this is the only color i didn't have <laughs> so i got like seven keys and i went through tsa and they're like they pulled me aside they had to do a secondary bag inspection they're like what are these i'm like oh they're hubcap keys for a cadillac and they kind of looked at me funny but they let me get on the plane uh, but it wouldn't have mattered because i didn't have that color anyways whoo baby uncut gold 24 karat Tons of paperwork, gold key delivery system, Cadillac motor car division. This is an extended warranty, service, lots of service slips. Midas, title, one owner car. And this I think is actually pretty neat too. This is a log of fuel bought where they bought it how many miles are put on it the cost of the fuel i mean you just don't see this anymore all the way up till 20,492 miles oh this guy hasn't moved very much well we're gonna give her a little bit of exercise all right, let's pack up, let's hit the road, and we're gonna see what we're gonna do here with tires. If we're gonna make it, I'm nuts for driving it all the way, but I don't really have a choice. Oh yeah, she's gonna need a headliner too. Look at how mint this thing is. Oh my, look at how clean that water bottle is. That's nuts. Not even yellowed or anything like that. Let's see, we got coolant. We got a newer replacement radiator, that's good. Air conditioning, those lines are definitely new. Looks like it's got a new dryer, replacement AC compressor, some custom stuff going on there, but obviously AC Delco. There was dealer service, the last oil change was at 20,000 and change, so we got 3,000 miles, but we do still have original radiator hoses. Lamps. Last time I drove one, I had it busting a pot there, but this one looks good. That might have been the scuff he was talking about. Deflector shield. Plug shield. We'll see how good that works on the way home. The V8 
village of Depew. Let's see, five liter, this is a 91, so 305, cotillion white, dark blue, primavera cloth, de elegance cloth, $1,800, wire caps, sold new at Francis Cadillac Inc., West Mount Prospect. I mean, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal car. This is definitely high, high collector grade quality. Look at how nice this thing is. I mean, just neat as a pin. Spare, I should at least check to see. Well, that's hard, so that's good. Take a look under here. It's clean, but yeah, you can, you can hear the exhaust. Sounds like maybe the back of the muffler. Yeah. Yep. Well, that only means one thing. It seems like every time I pick a car like this up and I drive it home, the exhaust is blowing apart. And people always fail to mention stuff like that, just like you failed to mention the headliner. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm happy with my purchase. I just got to get home. So we're going to... We're going to start driving, at least get into a different state. I don't know where I am in Chicago. I think they call this the Steelworkers Park. Oh, yeah. Uh, Steelworkers Park. What is that lady doing? Is she going to jump? Don't jump. Life is better than that. Um, but I figured this was a safe place. Nothing against people who live in Chicago, but all I hear in the news is people getting shot in Chicago. So... Um, I was a little sketched out with doing any kind of filming anywhere else. So I drove by this park. I said, oh, this looks somewhat legit. And there was a cop sitting on the end. So I said, ooh, yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. We'll be okay. Let's take it for a spin. 995 miles to go. Somewhere on the Ohio Turnpike. Had a tanker up with gas. Although I did get caught in a little bit of traffic and I smelled coolant. And I was slightly concerned that it was coming from me, but no, I'm still full. So it might have been coming from somebody else. Bug deflector is deflecting bugs. Although I do up here but there's like none on my windshield so i always wondered if those things actually worked and uh as a matter of fact it does we got the shoes off this is gonna be a long leg here you can hear the exhaust yeah that's what happens uh, let's see, we got 266 miles on it. She's just about to clock 21,000 miles. Uh, just stopped to get gas. Some snacks in Ohio here. Uh, probably got about, I don't know, 10 hours left. 10 and a half maybe. So, let's see what we can get down. All right. One thing we can't plan <laughs> is the weather. And it's kind of funny, last time I came to Chicago, ironically, when I bought that Lincoln that I just recently sold, and we drove back, we got stuck in shit weather. Coming back, we got lake effect snow, and just got wrecked through Pennsylvania with snow. And I didn't even think of this. We got a hurricane or a tropical storm, Ophelia, coming up the East Coast. And it's coming through Pennsylvania right now. And that is Pennsylvania in front of me. I mean, I'm still by like Sandusky, Ohio. So don't know how well this is gonna work out for me. But I'm gonna take, uh, take our best shot at that. I don't know if you can hear. I don't know if you can hear the droning noise of that exhaust. It gets 
pretty annoying being there. It's just like constantly droning you out unless you take your foot off the gas. But how are you supposed to keep up with traffic? Uh, anyways, the skies are getting dark, real dark. I think it's going to downpour, and I hope these Royal Seals... <laughs> I've been pushing them enough, they're doing 70 miles an hour. It's 71 degrees out. I've been pushing them enough going through this heat. Um, now we're going to put them through the rain test. And after I get back, if they're okay, I'm going to go on Tire Rack or Uniroyal's website and leave a good review on quality tires that they make. That way, if anybody else wants to buy some Royal Seals, they can and base it off my review. even know what baseball team plays there. That's how much I like sports. We're somewhere in Ohio. I know a major city area. And so far all we've got is a few little sprinkles here and there. I don't know where we are. I just saw a sign that said Cleveland University. Brown Stadium Science Center. I don't know. Anyways, we're just about to hit 90. Um, and I'm thinking I should probably pull over at some point. Uh, not that lane, this lane. I should probably pull over at some point and check to make sure that the windshield wipers I have on this car aren't like 32 years old. Might be something I look into. Nah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Look at this fucking... What, what in Cleveland, Ohio is this? Oh my God. All right. To somewhere just outside Erie, Pennsylvania. And it's just starting to sprinkle out. So I figured I'd check. Make sure at least the, well, no, they're actually, they feel new though they look old. I don't know if those are original. I think the original ones are silver. These are black. I'm gonna take a chance and say we're gonna be good. Check the coolant, yeah, it looks good. Oh, I keep forgetting this bug the fuck is on me. I feel like I'm gonna knock it off. It's definitely working, I think. I actually never checked the oil. There's oil in there. Jesus, where does this beak come from? All right. Looks like this was rubbing just a little bit. Yeah, this is all goo, but little spot right there. Top it off, another nine gallons of gas. Back on the road. We're at the Sheets. Somewhere, like I said, just outside Erie. Had to stop and take a Sheets because still trying to get used to this whole uh, not having a gallbladder thing. And I didn't really want to eat junk on the road, but I had M&Ms and then I had to go to the Sheets. So anyway, it's too much information. We are 457 miles into it. That's just under halfway. So, um, yeah, we still got a long way to go. I'm not gonna be home till like probably two o'clock in the morning. Oh, getting a little tired now. Where are we at? We got 679 miles. That is a beautiful thing. Uh, 679 miles. I know I'm just under about five hours till I get home. She's actually ripping pretty good down the road. Exhaust is still loud. Tires smooth. I mean, when you go slow with them, like in traffic or coming up to a light, you can feel a little bit of a shimmy or a bump, but. Doing 65, 70, smooth as glass. Uh, I 
just want to get home on the beat. Got up this morning at 3 o'clock in the morning to catch a flight. Went back an hour in time. Been driving. Now I'm forward the hour in time. So I don't even know where that puts me. Other than tired. Uh, last update. We're in Massachusetts. This is the first toll pla uh, service plaza. Mass Pike. Lee Plaza. I found out that the windshield wipers work and they actually work very well and they shut off. Uh, what time? It's midnight. Just crossed midnight, just crossed the border. About two hours left to go. 865 miles down on this car. Tires are going good, although I am going a little slower. I say slower. I mean 66, but. I was doing like mid 70s the whole drive back, 70, 75. Um, I don't know how these tires perform in the wetness. So it was raining harder earlier, but it's actually kind of tapered off a little bit. So, but two hours we'll be home, safe and sound. I think this one is going to be a good, uh, a good one to put in the books, Cadillac style. There it is, folks. 998 miles all the way home. Those original Royal Seal tires did hold up. And I took one last trip in it here to a Cars and Coffee. You'll see the car behind me. Uh, but we're heading off to Hershey, Pennsylvania for the car show where I'm going to buy another 15,000 mile early 1990s GM. I won't say what it is. I haven't had one. I'll give you a hint, I have one, but I haven't had one for sale and I can't remember how long. I personally have one. I'll leave you at that, but it's a one owner, also on its original tires. Car that we're gonna go all the way to Hershey-ish, pick up, bring to the show, and drive all the way back, and I'll bring you in on that video as well. Don't be too rough on me in the comments. I know it was a bad idea to drive it all the way home. This time we're gonna we're planning this, so we're going to take a few uh, precautionary measures, but here it is, 998 miles home. It did absolutely perfect. I still don't know what I'm going to do with that bug deflector, whether I'm going to leave it on or take it off. I do have the other brand new one. I think it will look better with it off. I mean, you really don't notice it, but you notice that big stainless band. Let me know down in the comments what you think I should do with that. Um, I had had a few people reach out and ask me about it. Um, maybe you're potentially interested in putting it on their car. I don't know why, but I did give it a quick wash. And you can see she looks absolutely gorgeous. Although I did notice the way that the sun, you can see two little dings right in the quarter there. Uh, so I'll have my PDR guy take those out. And you'll see this car again real soon with a for sale sign on it. 